Superman is debatably the most powerful superhero that there is in the DC Universe, and Darkseid is debatably the most powerful supervillain in the DC Universe. And as such, the two have fought each other quite often, as both of them need a strong opponent in order to make their fights believable. After all, if there's no stakes, it's not really that interesting. And let's face it, when it comes to strong opponents, well, they don't get much stronger than these two. And since they know the power levels that they have, they have no need to hold back. Well, Superman doesn't need to hold back at least. I actually very much doubt that Darkseid has ever held back in a fight. And this video is going to go over the 5 best fights of Superman and Darkseid. Number 5. Justice League War Now, technically this isn't a Superman v Darkseid fight, it's actually a Justice League vs Darkseid fight. But the whole fight hinges on Superman being there. As Batman puts it, We won't win without our big gun. So although it's a team effort, it's made clear that Superman is essential for them to win. And that's why it's on this list, because Superman has always been the power of the Justice League. Whenever there is a big bad to fight, Superman is who you call. And this film setting Superman up as the powerhouse of the Justice League is a nice touch, as this film is the beginning of the New 52 universe of course, and it's the Justice League's origin. And right from the beginning, we know that Superman is the most powerful one. And it's also a pretty amazing fight, with some great moments from all of the League. But the fight isn't won until Superman turns up, and he is the driving force that pushes Darkseid through the portal and back home. And seeing him blast into Darkseid with his heat vision is just fantastic, as we really get to see him offload some serious firepower on him. Which in truth, we don't often get from Superman. Number 4. Justice League now, in this story, Brainiac is conquering Apocalypse, the home planet of Darkseid. And so Darkseid asks the Justice League for help. And it turns out to be a trick, and he betrays them. Now, Darkseid tricking and betraying the Justice League is no surprise. In fact, Superman said it would happen from the very beginning of the episode. But when he does betray the League, Superman is then allowed to take Darkseid out. Which is probably the only real reason he agreed to trust Darkseid in the first place. And Superman is clearly overjoyed at the prospect of fighting Darkseid again. They have a lot of history at this point in this universe. And Superman wants to finish Darkseid off once and for all. And seeing Superman wanting to get revenge on him, just like anyone would, is a great thing to watch. As Superman is usually the perfect holier-than-thou man, and seeing him basically being more human is always interesting. And I do love the moment when Superman burns through Darkseid's foot with his heat vision. It's a pretty cool moment, and it's surprisingly dark for what is essentially a kid's TV show. And Superman is so consumed by the idea of getting revenge on Darkseid, that he actually almost dies. And if Batman hadn't returned to get him out of there, then he would have been caught in the explosion that kills Darkseid. And if the blast can kill Darkseid, it most likely would have killed Superman as well. And that's also another great part about this fight, as Darkseid does die. And although Superman doesn't technically kill him, he is the one that stopped him from being able to escape through a mother box boom tube, so he is kind of the reason that Darkseid dies. Number 3. Superman the Animated Series Finale In this series finale, Darkseid mind washes Superman into thinking that he is Darkseid's son, and then he sends him to invade and conquer Earth. Which of course Superman does, and an all out war begins between Superman and Apocalypse forces and the humans. And of course, this destroys any and all trust that humans had with Superman, and it even leads to one of his closest friends and allies turning against him. And after the fight, when Superman gets his memories back, he is absolutely furious with Darkseid, as anyone would be. I mean, mind controlling someone like this and changing all their memories is one of the worst things you can do, and anyone would be absolutely livid with him. Let alone the fact that it has destroyed pretty much all of Superman's life on Earth, as no one there trusts him and all the people he swore to protect now fear him. And so Superman decides to return the favour by destroying Darkseid once and for all. And he flies to Apocalypse and beats the holy hell out of him. Even holding his hands over Darkseid's eyes at one point so that Darkseid's Omega Beams overload on his head and nearly kill him. It even destroys part of his armour and causes him to bleed. And hurting a god so bad that he can bleed is very impressive, but he's also so badly hurt that he can't even walk. So then Superman decides to throw Darkseid to his slaves so they can get their revenge on him as well, and they can beat up the one who enslaves and tortures them. Though surprisingly, they love Darkseid, and they actually go in to help their fallen god. 
which surprises Superman, and I think it surprises the viewer as well, because it's absolutely crazy that they love Darkseid. And the fight is not only great for showing Superman wrecking his most powerful enemy, but also because Darkseid being saved by his slaves really shows a whole new light on the situation. Because in the slaves' minds and the people of Apocalypse, Superman is the evil enemy invading, and I really think that that is actually a rather nice touch to the overall story. Number 2. Justice League Unlimited Finale There are many Superman vs Darkseid fights in the animated Timverse, but this final one is without a doubt the best. Darkseid has previously died and is now resurrected more powerful than ever. He is immortal after all. And when he fights Superman, he seems to have the upper hand, until Superman does something that he has never been able to do before. He lets go of his self-control completely and unleashes his true power. Now, Superman is basically a god living among mortals, and he has an absolutely insane level of power, meaning that he has to constantly hold back and keep this power in check, not just in fights, but in his day-to-day -day life. Because if he actually loses control of his power, even for a second, then he could actually do some serious damage to the world around him, and people could potentially die. But with Darkseid now being so powerful, Superman doesn't have to hold back at all. And this also implies that in all the fights that he's had with Darkseid before, that he's actually been holding back his power, so that he doesn't kill him. But this time, I don't think he cares if he kills Darkseid. But even letting loose all of his power isn't enough, because Darkseid not only has his god powers, but he also has super advanced tech at his disposal. So he traps Superman in an energy field, and pulls out a kryptonite knife to carve out his heart. But before he can, Superman is saved by Lex Luthor, of all people, who takes Darkseid away using the anti-life equation, though it's not really made very clear how this happens or where the two of them actually go. But it is kind of beautiful that Superman's arch enemy is the one who stopped Darkseid from killing him. Now, it's said that Lex Luthor does this just because he wants to get revenge on Darkseid, but part of me thinks it's just that Lex Luthor can't stand the thought of anyone other than him killing Superman. Number 1. Superman and Batman Apocalypse Although Superman finally lets loose in Justice League Unlimited, all he really does is actually just punch Darkseid really powerful. And it is still quite impressive, yes, and it almost made the top spot on this list. But it went to this film because when we see him unleash his power fully in this film, we get to see a hell of a lot more. Mainly because the animation of this film is of better quality, because the film has a bigger budget than the TV series episode did. But still, it's actually pretty impressive. Now in the film, Superman has just rescued Supergirl from Darkseid, and Darkseid has sworn that he will leave her alone from then on. But when they return home to Kansas, Darkseid is waiting for them to have a reckoning with Superman. And this time, he holds nothing back. And this may be the first time that we truly see what Superman is capable of in a fight. Attacking Darkseid with a barrage of fists and heat vision, so fast and so powerful that it actually creates a tornado. And although Superman doesn't actually kill Darkseid, he does manage to strand him in deep space, with no mother box to make a boom tube or communicate to his allies for a rescue. And though Darkseid will of course find a way around this, it is Darkseid after all, it would still take him off the playing field for quite a long time. And since he is immortal, that's pretty much as close as a person can come to defeating him. After all, even when he died in the fourth fight on this list, he still came back to life, and being immortal, Darkseid will always find a way to return. So death is temporary at best, but stranding him in deep space actually might keep him occupied for longer. And that is the five best fights of Superman and Darkseid. Do you agree with this list? Or is there another fight that you think should have been mentioned as well? Be sure to let us know in the comments, along with which fight is your personal favorite. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mass Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.